Oh, wedding pictures on. He is not no, even no, married, race. It's, it's just, it's just a simple one. <laughs> yes, yeah, you are married. <laughs> so today, um, we're going to have a look how you can use SalesNav to find out different companies, how you can get in touch with their owners, and what sorts of filter you can use, right? So this is LinkedIn free. Then I'm going to simply click at the top right corner. I can click at sales nav. And then a new tab will open with sales navigator profile, right? Now, yesterday we discussed there are two options we can uh, do filters, right? The first option is lead filter. <clears throat> Sorry, lead, for, lead filter. We can mainly do it for lead generation, like for headhunting. If you want to get in touch with different individuals, let's say you click on lead filter and then you can search for any job title. Let's say League, like solicitor, fianer, paralegal, business development manager, CEO, founder, anybody that you want to get in touch with, you can click on um, this lead filter and then you can get in touch with them. But if you want to first search for different companies to approach, right? So for the, the first task is about list building, like so they, they show you. So to list building, you need to find out the right people, the right industry that you want to reach. Let's say you say, okay, I want to try this on in the legal industry, right? So you need to find all the law firms in that specific area. You can just go area by area. You simply got to do is click on account filter. Right. And you'll see all the filters. You know, you can use all these filters as you want. Right. You can customize these filters. Let's say we want to get in touch with small, medium sized companies. First, you can select the head, head count. So we usually do it from like less than 200 people. So just select this one. Then you can say where should be this company based in, right? So you can select Manchester. Right. And then you can say which industry you want to reach this out, right? So we just said, OK, we want to try this on in legal sector industry, right? So we say legal services. And there are a few other filters as well, but these three, four are the main that, that we can use. So we have got a list of companies that we can reach out and probably maybe hundreds or maybe in thousands, right? So we can open their profile one by one and we can reach out to every single one of them. When we talk about list building, let's say I want to take a start from the first one, right? So King's go, Chamber. Go for, go for my solicitors, sorry. Got it, yes. So this um, is the one, you, let's say. Sorry, Osama, sorry to cut you off. When you go for King's Chambers, they're the ones that you want to stay away from. So any chambers, yeah. anything like that, they're very much government funded. So we want to stay away from the government funded ones. We want private limited companies. Um, and all of my solicitors um, are a private limited company. When it says save company, where does it get saved to? Uh, uh, Osama, did you hear that question? No. Can you come again? Uh, when you, when it came... Go on, Paul, go on. When, it, when it says save, where does it get saved to? You can you can click here, save searches. Uh, where does it get saved? Where does it get saved to? Into uh, accounts. Wait a second. The counter leads. If it's if it's save accounts, yeah. Accounts lists. All saves accounts are four. So these are the four that we have saved yesterday. If you are saving oh, um, leads, oh, yeah, you, you will come at. Sorry, go for it. Yeah. So if you are saving, like if you are saving using lead filter, it will come under leads. If you are saving using accounts filter, so it, it will come and uh, it will come under accounts. So these are the four that we have saved yesterday, right? So Myers and Solicitor, we had a look yesterday and we saved them. When we open their profile, it says they're already saved. Now. We want to get in touch with them, right? We want to offer them that, that we can help you in, in recruitment. So the total number of employees are 147, but we only want to speak with somebody who is the decision maker, right? So there are 10 decision makers that we can get in touch with. What we usually do is we usually go after like men, two or three individual in that company. If you're just going to pick up one, you're going to send him the email. That guy might not read your email, right? So you, 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 you just lost one lead. So it's better that you can get in touch with at least two or three individual, two or three decision makers from that company. So the chances of you getting in touch with them are more. So simply click on decision makers. All right, so, I've, so I've got a list of the whole 10 decision makers, right? 
now let's say I want to get in touch with like the people director maybe or maybe the CEO or maybe the partner chief CEO right so these are the two three people that I really want to get in touch with I'm going to open their profile one by one there are multiple options you can get their profile I think once as above already shown you you can try it out with uh, job bank um, email finder Chrome extension if you can find it from there that is absolutely good because no credit gets wasted but if you cannot Us find Usama, it can, Usama, let's go on my since list is website let's just have a check if it's on there yep like I said normally we wouldn't but like because it's being recorded I just we'll just go the extra one because Joe's not here yeah, absolutely this is this is sell. This is the software developer. <laughs> We're going to chat So there are 30 pages in total, so it's going to search all 30 pages. Let it search. See, we start getting uh, individual emails. So we got Chris's. Again, the summer where, where it says export emails, where do they go to? Let, let it finish. Uh, when you're going to export, export emails, it's going to be downloaded to your laptop or to your phone. Right, so does, yeah. not within the platform, it's going into a separate file. Exactly, yes. So it will be downloaded as a separate file in your laptop. Cool. Usually, what happens is, let's say if we can get like two or three individual emails from a company, so most of the companies they use the same pattern, right? So if it says Chris.Wilson, and at the, the domain of the company. So if I know that this is one individual email that I have got, then hope probably lots of the other emails will be on the same pattern, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. sometime what happen is if I'm not able to, I've, I've used all of these tools, right? But I cannot find the email of that specific individual that I want to get his, get his email. What I will do is I will just copy his email and then I'm going to try uh, some email verifier tools and, I, and I'm just going to use the same pattern. And this way I can see if, if I've got the right email or if I've got the wrong email. So see, I've got lots of emails from this company, right? So Joanne, Carla, Richard, Wolf. I can simply export these emails. Or if, if I know there is some email I want to really look into, so I can just copy that email and I can send them emails. So the email list got downloaded in my, in my system, right? So. If you want to just export that one, it will automatically be downloaded. Is Richard's email on there? Let's see. We got Chris's. Now, now let's say, uh, with Richard? So tend to see and make Chris. Come on, yeah. So Richard Lloyd, let's say I've tried all the tools, I've tried Apollo, I've tried, I've tried everything, but I couldn't find Richard's email, right? So I'm simply gonna go there. So I can open any email verifier tool. This is how I used to do it while doing business development. So I'm, I'm just gonna copy his first and last name. All right. And again, like I said, we'll do this over because I know there's a lot of multiple tools that we're using. We'll do this over and over and over and over again. I know I keep yeah. saying that, but, but trust me, we will do it over yeah. again. So I've just used the same pattern that I've got Chris's email and I can just put it here and, and I can see if I've got the right email, right? So the syntax is correct. If the email is right, it will come up here.
If you get more than three to four greens, then it's okay to send him an email. If it says like all all of these are red, then this means the email is not correct. Plus, we can use any of other tools like Apollo, Sales, QL, and any other tools that we can utilize. So let's say if I want to get Richard's email, I couldn't find it from Job Job Bank. I can simply use Sales QL, and I can get his email from there. And the other thing is we can actually connect to him. Uh, and send him an email as well at the same time. So I've got two of his email. See, this is the one and this is the other one. So I've got two of his email. This might be from his previous uh, company or he might be working at two places. And when it says green, it means the, these emails are verified. If it says red, which means these emails are not verified. So this, these emails are verified. These are correct emails. We can send them out. If, well, if I want to use Apollo, one. yeah, if I want to use Apollo, <laughs> I can simply get his email using Apollo. I can simply get his phone number as well. So when I'm doing list building, I'm going to put his name. I'm going to put the company. I'm going to put their website. I'm going to put his email. I'm going to put his phone number. I'm going to put his title as well. So I would know who am I reaching out. So I can get the, the, their details for like two or three people. Let's say Richard is the one. Second, I want to try Carl Newton. Third, I want to try uh, Jordana, right? So I can get all of their emails using Sales Navigator and using these tools. If I want to directly reach them out, like we discussed yesterday, I'm simply going to send message and I'm going to simply send you a message to say, hi, Richard, uh, this is Osama. Uh, we do recruitment with uh, philosopher firms. If I want to give him any references just to build, build more value in my message, I can give him some references as well. If I don't want to give any references, that's totally up to me. So there are multiple I ways I can reach out. Osama, I am also right. There's an attach link at the bottom over there on the message. You can attach any CVs if necessary as well. Absolutely. If you, if like like said, if you got some really good CVs, so you tell him. You know what? Um, just for your reference, I'm attaching a few of the uh, candidates that we have in hand. I know you're looking for some um, solicitors. I know you're looking for some paralegals. Have a look at those CVs. Let me know if this is something that you're interested in, and let's discuss it further. Now, th this is one way. Yeah, marketing and LinkedIn marketing as well. Yeah. So I've got Richard's email. I've got Carl's email. If I want Jordana's email, see if I can find her email as well. So I've got her email as well. And always remember one thing no tool is 100% perfect or 100% okay, right? There will be people that you will not be able to find their email, you will not be able to find their phone numbers. But 85 to 95% of the time, you will be able to find their emails and then you can reach them out anytime that you want. Don't now, worry about that. Paul, Paul and Darren don't like technology anyway. So <laughs> if you're saying 85%, they don't even think it's 25% good. <laughs> now, this is one way, right? What we did was we used Sales Navigator and then we read those people out, right? Now, there are lots of law firm that we know are looking for, are actively hiring, right? Now, how would we know that there is a law firm that is actively hiring? Right, let's say there are two companies. You, there is one who haven't posted any job. You are reaching them out because one thing that we know about legal sector is they're always hiring, right? But there are few that are desperate right now, or there are few they are not. So they are, so they, they are just looking for some good people so they can hire them. So there are a few law firms. Now, how we, would we know which one is desperate, right? Which one are actively hiring right now? They want more and more people. You're simply going to go to your LinkedIn tool, right? You're going to click at jobs, right? Once you have selected on jobs, then you're going to select any legal sector title job. Let's say I say solicitor, I say paralegal, or I, or I, I can search anything that I want, right? So I said paralegal, and then I'm going to select the location as Manchester, London, anywhere that I want to reach them out. Manchester, are you right? So these are all the law firms that are actively hiring right now. So if I want to get in touch with them, I'm simply going to open their profile. Now, one thing that you need to make sure whenever you're searching it from jobs portal, you'll, see, you, you'll find lots of uh, companies who posted jobs. 
are already recruited, like staffing companies, HR companies. So we really want to stay away from them. We only want to get in touch with the real law firm. So let's say this is say Capstick, right? I'm going to open their profile and I'm going to see if this is a real law firm or if this is a staffing or recruitment firm, right? So when I, so once I'm going to open their profile, there are law law, law practice. So there are different filters that you can use, right? Now, these people have got like a thousand employees. But what we discussed was that we only want to reach out to small and medium sized companies. So we want to look for somebody who got less than 200, maybe less than 500 employees. If you want to try reaching them out, you can absolutely do that. There's nothing wrong, but you'll have more success reaching companies who are like small and medium size. Uh, go, yes, go, I have for, something. Go forward again. Um, go forward again. Mm -hmm. On this one? Um, yeah, go for Brabner's. Um, I'm just saying it. Oh, sorry. On the jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, Can you see where it's it. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Yeah. You can also see on there how many applicants have actually applied um, as well. If they've got a low ratio of applicants, it might be one reason why to then approach them. But believe me when I say this, a lot of the applications are from South Africa and different, different places, parts of the world from India, Pakistan, that are not even relevant to the actual person that they're searching for. Uh, how many people, 500 to 501 to 1K employees? Let's just click on that one and let's see if we can get that director. And I, I know they're based in Manchester, Preston and Liverpool. Got it. So again, I can simply search with sales now. I want to add something over here uh, with sure. searching the actively hiring all over to the LinkedIn or maybe the sales navigator. So uh, obviously, just go to your sales navigator. The thing with the uh, once you're in touch with the and you're searching for the accounts over there, right? Uh, with the with the same filters, can you see Usama over there? Job opportunity filter. Yeah, you can simply click on hiring on LinkedIn. And you can go with all the other filters like legal filter with the headcount of 200, right? So you can check all the companies over there, those who are actively hiring over to the LinkedIn, and you can go with the sales navigator on a one go. So if you want to go with the sales navigator, just go with the sales navigator, even though you 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 don't want to or you don't you don't have a like you don't have to go with the LinkedIn as well. And you can go from the company headcount rate from yeah. the, the yeah. list over there. Yeah. Yeah. So look over here. There are there are many people. Oh, sorry. No, not the people, but the companies. Those who are actively hiring for the candidates. So we can approach these companies as well, like the property law LLP or maybe the clear law solicitor, right? And we can just contact them as well. Yeah. Carry on, Osama. Yeah. So the rest of the process is is, is almost same. Open their profile, go to the decision makers, right? It's also nice having that, um, that tree of, um, you know, the CEOs, the managers, and then the staff as well over there. So you can get in touch with them. And you'll probably get in touch with the CEO. Let's look at Alex Kenny. And again, you can send a message on them over here. You've got the emails. And uh, on top of that, um, you can even go to Bloom's website and see if we can get their contact finder from there before you uh, thingy. But like I said, the power of Sales Navigator um, in comparison to free LinkedIn. Free LinkedIn is a lot more difficult. You've got to connect, you've got to wait. Um, you don't have the filters, um, the, the Sales Navigator filters. I think the job opportunities one might be a new one that they've just put up or hiring on LinkedIn because I used to do it the other way what um, Osama was showing me, but because they're just showing new new filters every single I don't know God knows how much money they spend on it on a daily um, on a daily basis, but you know you've got that you can just click the filters and you can just narrow everything down to make your life a lot more easier. You can message people on LinkedIn. That I always say create a database because once you create the database, you can just send an email out. But then you can also um, look on people who are actually advertising and searching, and you can really message them people on LinkedIn and try and build a relationship with them and network with them. 
Is that email there? Um, the director's email? Um, no, um, it's still searching. Oh, it's still searching for, okay then. But, um, We've that, got a few, yes. Part, um, boys, um, just, a, just a question, and it's, uh, look, I've made you guys, I will have forced you guys to use free LinkedIn time to time. Um, you know, and what's the difference between free LinkedIn and Sales Navigator? Anybody can answer that. Osama, Mike, I, Mike, I, I think this one, this, one, this one is, yeah. So Sales Navigator is way more effective than the free tool. Plus, the free tool is, is, is very time consuming. And with Sales Navigator, with all the filters that you can do, uh, like, just before this one, when we were using the free tool, right? We had to open every single profile, and then we had to search for like which company that I want to search with. I need to check the people that are employed over there. But with Sales Navigator, I can simply put the filter out there, and I won't have to spend like 10 or 15, 20 minutes looking out for the right company that I want to reach them out. Plus, with Sales Nav, you can filter them out on industry ways as well. So there'll be no staffing and recruitment company as well. Plus, there, there are lots of options you can try to out with Sales Navigator, like sending the messages out. There'll be lots of people that you will not even be able to see their profile. That is one of the biggest options that we haven't seen yet because with my and Max profile, we've got lots of people connected. So lots of people that are on LinkedIn, we are able to see their profile. But if somebody got a new profile, somebody does not have many connection, the biggest problem that they face is they cannot see people's profile when they're using that one for free. But when you've got Sales Navigator, you'll be able to see every single profile. If somebody have locked their profile, you can unlock their profile using Sales Navigator as well. So these That's are just like the, the the basic things that are top of my head that you can use Sales Nav for. But when you dive more into it for lead generation, for accounts, getting in touch with owners and everything, it's, it, 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 it is really useful. Plus this uh, decision maker option, like who should I approach in this company is not on, on the free tool. Like free tool, you have to judge by yourself which can be a, who can be a decision maker, right? Let's say loss of time, what happened is I had this problem a lot. Let's say there's a company who got 200 employees. Now, not every time you'll be able to find the decision makers on the first page. Sometimes you have to go through all 10 pages to check who is the right person I can speak, I can speak with. But with Sales Nav, you just click once and you'll be able to see all the decision makers. And then you can choose from a list of 10, 12 people. Cool. Um, on top of that, um, while, whilst we're on it, could you just do a quick rundown of free uh, free LinkedIn and paid LinkedIn just for um, candidates, searching for candidates um, and developing leads um, on that? Similar to what you did yesterday. Again, Osama, this is just the purpose for the video for for Joe, who's, who's missing you today. So... Um, if you can just go through that process um, on paid LinkedIn and um, free LinkedIn. Got, got it. So let's say if you want to use LinkedIn for headhunting, right? You want to hire different people for different jobs. So first step you're going to do is you're going to go at the job bank lead center and you're going to select the job that you want to hire people for. Let, let, so let's let's say, not even... Oh, Sama, sorry, let's not even look at the lead center. So let's say we've got the client now. Exactly. We're looking for a business development manager in Manchester. They, you know, virtually Ross, I've got their own clients. The client is called Paul Byron Solicitors, and he wants a business development manager. Exactly. So um, whatever, uh, yeah, so whatever. Uh, let me say it wrong for all this time. He's not even correcting me once. I know. <laughs> I've been waiting for it. I have. You just ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> do people, do people say Byron though? Yeah. Oh, okay, so I, oh, okay. You stay. So let's say we got a client. He he's looking for a business development manager. I'm simply gonna search business development manager. I'm gonna go on people and then I'm gonna select the location, right? And I've got, let's say, they're looking for a business development manager in Manchester area. So I've got 24,000 business development managers in Manchester area that I can get in touch with, right? So there are two ways I can get in touch with them. First is using the free tool. The other one is using the sales nav. Let's get through the free one first, and then we can talk about the paid version. 
So let's say I'm going to open their profile one by one. So I'm going to go at Paul. I'm going to go at Brad. I'm going to have a look at their profile. Now, every job description that we get from client, they have got a specific requirement. Let's say they say, I'm looking for somebody who must have got like one year as a business development manager or maybe 12, maybe two years, maybe six months. So I'm going to have a look at their profile. I'm going to see how long this guy's been a business development manager. Now, this guy's been doing it for 15 months. Now, if my requirement is for like one, one and a half year, then he's a good, he's a good candidate for this role. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to send him a connection request. If I've got some credits, I can simply attach a note as well. I can say, hey, Paul, uh, this is Osama. Um, I'm a recruiter with Job Bank. I was really impressed by your profile as a business development manager. We are looking for a business development manager. If you are looking for a better opportunity, please let me know. Let's discuss. Again, you can only. Sorry, Osama, and you can make a 300 character on Claude to write that um, personal message as well. Although yeah, the fe this fellow yeah. Paul Martin does seem like he fancies himself as well, looking at that picture. Well, he's working for a sports company, do hey. MMA and everything. He probably does think hey. he can do. He, he can do he everything. He's a bit of a. What's his name? It's it's a handy boy. Handy boy, yeah. You know the English boxer Amir Khan. Uh, this RDX is owned by him. So the oh, supply right. source is yeah. immense. Ah, right. Yeah. So I worked for them like for a couple of months and then I left. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, that, did you get an email from Riz? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, that was like in 2020, 2021, 2022. Now, let's say um, if this is a guy, so there are two options. I'm simply going to connect with him. I, I can attach a note, but again, I can only do 10, 12 a month. Maybe I, I'll finish those in like in an hour. Then after that, I'll be sending them a request without a note. So send him a connection request, wait for him to accept your request wait for like two or three weeks if he's going to accept your request send him a message say hey paul again uh, my name is Osama. i was really impressed by your profile uh we're looking for a business development manager at this uh location um are you interested in looking for a better opportunity if you are let's connect please share your cv once i've got a cv i'm going to make him a call i'm going to say hey paul this is what i've got i'm going to ask him about his experience because every job description that we get there will be a requirement section that these sorts of skill sets should have in that individual, in that candidate. So I'm going to see, I'm going to judge by that call that if this guy is a right fit for that job or no. If he's a good fit, I'm just going to spec him through. Now, this is using the free tool, right? Now, let's say I've sent Paul a request, right? And he haven't accepted my request yet. What I can do is I can withdraw my request. Now, how can I withdraw my request? I can simply go on my network. Right. And then there it says in what invitations I can see, I can click on see all invites. And there are, these are the invites that I have received. These are the invites that I have sent. So let's say if it's been like more than two, three weeks or maybe a month, I simply can withdraw my request. Now, before I withdraw my request, I'm going to open his, open his or her profile. And then I'm going to get their email using any extensions that I have. Even I can find it from uh, any extension that I can use. I can find his email or her email that I can simply send her an email as well. Say, hi, Kelly. Um, I've sent you a connection request on LinkedIn, but unfortunately, we weren't able to connect. But I've gone through your profile. I was really impressed. Um, we're, we're looking for a solicitor. We're looking for a business development manager, whatever uh, we are hiring her for. If you're interested in a better opportunity, uh, please get back to me. So this is how you can just use this free tool, send connection Sorry, request. Sorry, Osama. Um, uh, one thing I will also do is, do you know when you're sending an email out to uh, to a company email? So like you say, for example, Kelly at TWF. Don't send, when you send the email out, make sure you leave your number on there. So leave it as a cold email, but leave your number on there because they won't email you back because they'll be a bit scared and hesitant. But if you leave your number on there, what they'll do is they'll just take the number and then they'll just text you later on. If you say call or text this number, if you're interested. So leave it as a cold email, but then as the firms grow, they, they're, they're just a little bit scared. Even my boys are scared. Think of that. I check the email. I really don't. <laughs> um, 
but it's just that's what the yeah. process is. So just leave your number there so they can get back into you. Put them on, put it onto their side for them to get back in touch with you. Sorry, Usama. Yep. So this is a this was about using the tool for free. Now, how how can we use LinkedIn um, Sales Navigator to get in touch with these people, right? So um, instead of using this free tool, I can simply click on Search with Sales Navigator. And now I've got the whole list of individuals. I've got the whole list. If I can simply go on Sales Navigator separately and I can do all the filtration and I can search it from there, or I can simply click on this Search with Sales Navigator and I'll find everybody that I want to get in touch with. So what I'm going to do is, like we discussed yesterday, the benefit of Sales Navigator is I do not have to wait for him to accept my request to send him a message, right? I can simply open his profile. I can simply click on message and then I can send you a message right here. I can maybe give it a subject line, say business development manager, any title that I want, and then I can send you a message. I say, hey, Nick, again, I've gone through your profile. I think you're a good candidate. I've got a few great opportunities for you. If you're interested, please let me know. If you guys want to leave your number, leave your number as well. If you want to ask them for, your, for their number, you can ask them for the CVs and then get it through. Right? So this is how you can use the Sales Navigator tool to like get in touch with as many people as you can. So yesterday, when we were looking at different profiles, it was it, it, it was saying that it will use one of the hundred credits that I had. Now, there, like Max said yesterday, there are lots of profile that you'll see that you can send messages. Uh, they will not even detect your credit. And trust me, I've never ran out of credits using Sales Navigator. I've sent like 30, 40 uh, messages in a day as well. I've done so many over the month, but I've never ran, ran out of credits. So you can just send as many messages as you want. Uh, we just recommend you for the start, just keep it like 25, 30, 35 a day. And then after a month, after two months, maybe you, you can increase that number by 50. So this is how using sales nav, you can send that, you, you can just send them a message right away. And that message yeah, will Shama, directly go to their message section. I want to add something over here. Can you just uh, give me the access to, of the screen? One second. Thank you, Zama. No, it says thank you. My pleasure. Yeah, uh, just so Zama uh, told you about the LinkedIn side, the free LinkedIn side. Obviously, we can search over here as well as if we are going to the sales navigator, right? I'm just going to go with the whole thing. Like this is the sales navigator dashboard, right? So you are looking for the business development uh, manager, right? So what you're going to do, you can go with the lead center. The best thing for sales navigator search, you can just simplify your search or you can you can go with the, you know, uh, the segmentation of uh, your search. Like, let's suppose if I'm going to uh, have that candidate, which is having a business development manager. Right. And I'm also going to go with the with the geography, right? So with all all the filters over here, we can simply go to to the person we are looking for. Like let's suppose for the London for, for the London based, and obviously we can also select the year of experiences, right? So let's suppose if you're using the free uh, LinkedIn version, and you can just jump into different person profiles, and you can check for the let's suppose if I'm going with this one. Right, and I'm just checking the previous background of this lady. Like, with the, let's suppose with the solicitor, so she is having like more than two or three years. But with Sales Navigator help, we can just simply write over here with like, let's suppose one or two year experience or three or five year experience, right? And also, we can we we are able to go with the industry as well. So let's suppose, uh, like like um. Uh, Riz just told us like uh, legal legal firm is looking for the business development sector, right? So he just gave an idea of legal uh, legal side. So we just put the legal as an industry, London as an area. Year of experience would be like three to five years because we are looking for the same number of experienced person. Also, what we're gonna do, we can just simply go with the seniority level as well. So it totally give you the whole idea of like how how uh, 
we can utilize all these filters and we can just simply go with the specific one right over here we all know that like this person is obviously having like three to five years of experience in business development right and all the others like 36 results in this area with the legal services right so this is uh this search this uh this whole thing the uh the filters over here make it easier much more easier as compared to the free one as well as what you're gonna do obviously for the further uh for the next time research you can simply save that thing uh with your uh with your, you know the list of uh, the candidates so you whenever you are going for manchester or whatever the london area you can go with the same search and you can simply change the if you can go with the experiences you can simply sh change the experiences right and there are there are many thing the the other filters as well so you can go with other filters by just going with the seniority level so let's suppose i'm going to go with the with the with the senior one right so i'm just going to include senior one uh the other one i'm going to just exclude the those so i'll get the good results right so that's the best or you can say that's the beauty of sales navigator where you can have a lot of filters over here where you can jump into the specific candidates and you can just simply connect via just sending the uh, message or by just connecting with them is that okay yeah yeah oh, perfect so you're just narrowing it down, aren't you? So yeah, than... yeah, yeah. Rather than going to the free LinkedIn and just going with the business development manager or business development, right? This one. And we have to go with the people and then the location, right? So it takes much more time. And just going with the with all the entities over here. So just clicking the this person, let's suppose, Muhammad uh, Hanif, right? And I want to check the experience of this person. So I'm just gonna go with, drag down the the, the LinkedIn profile and just gonna check the experience like six years, uh, six years, seven months, maybe. And maybe there are some profile having like one or two years of experience. So uh, obviously it takes uh, much time as compared to if you're going with the sales navigator and you can simply put all the filters you want it over there and simply get the results of uh, whatever you uh, are looking for, right? And you can use different names. So let's just yeah. say, for example, business development manager. You can use the name business development manager, business development executive, business development director, sales manager. There's one with yeah. there. The, just put the keywords in. Um, I really appreciate that, Mac. And that looks like it's something new that they've put on pretty recently. But yeah. I wanted you boys to do one more thing, whether it's, whether it's Usama or Mac. Um, yeah. I've been I've been talking about business finance. Obviously, immigration is a little bit more about who you know um, in terms of, um, of of when we do immigration and stuff like that. Business finance obviously is a good one for us, and it can be targeted. Could you show the boys how we could um, utilize? Um, LinkedIn and LinkedIn sales, well, LinkedIn sales navigator, let's talk about LinkedIn sales navigator or LinkedIn, how we can use that for business finance, either one of you, whether it's Usama, whether it's Mac, um, you can, yeah. you, 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 you can put the show on. So, um, Usama, I'm just going to start that thing, okay, if I'm lacking in somewhere, just uh do me a favor, sure, okay? sure, sure, nice. Yeah, I'll be there. yeah. So, uh, whenever we are talking about the companies, right? Uh, we are reaching out for the company. We can go with the account sector, uh, account section over here, right? And whenever we are looking for the candidate or the person, we are going with the lead then, lead filter. So now we are looking for the businesses who are going to have like, uh, who are willing to have a business finance over there. So what we're gonna do, obviously, though, uh, the companies who are, uh growing in, in a growing stage right or if they are or, or if they are looking for a finance uh for for their for their uh, businesses obviously we have to go with that company so obviously we have we are not going with more than like obviously not going uh with more than 200 uh headcount over there even though uh what i'm what i'm suggesting over here right now for the business finance one we'll go with the 11 to 50 uh 
the reason behind that obviously because they are in a in a growing stage right so they really want as compared to other sector uh, so that's the reason I just put 11 to 50 over here as well as with the with the location thing you can simply go whatever the location like uh, in United Kingdom you can also include like London or whatever the location you are going for London right so with the industry obviously you have to choose the industry so with that thing uh, risk can I show them this platform yeah, yeah of course you can um... You show whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, you after, have to refresh your page. Yeah, after you've done this, um, I, yeah, I, I don't think I've told you this part, but um, whilst you're doing your homework on that, I'll, I'll show you another site that um, you can you, you can scrape from, scrape information from to then get the the client's details. Um, who could possibly be looking for finance, but. Um, I'll let you guys carry on first, and um, and then once you've done that, unless you go to that. Um... Yeah. So with the marketing side, obviously we have to go with the marketing lead center, such like we are going with the recruitment side. We just go with the service leads, and business finance is over here right now. So this is the service that have been provided from uh, Vectoring Finance. The client name is this. And uh, I just want to check about the, you know, the, the like all the details over here. We can simply check it over here right now. Uh, we can cover all these uh, business finance, right? So what we're gonna do, we have strong connection to over 200 different lenders, right? Uh, so they are giving the industries as well. So we have those industries who are having a law, law and accounting uh, firms, car, van, hire, the, all these like in in not with the obviously not ex excluding the companies that are uh, involved in gambling or adult entertainment or something like that right so we are doing uh the business finance to all the sector right now retailer uh, sorry no sorry we were just joking <laughs> Uh, okay, okay. So we we have to go with the with all the other industries. So we can simply put that industries over through to the to the sales navigator search, right? With the industry section. With the industry section. Uh, so we have to go with the legal. We have uh, we are able to go with the. You can say restaurants. Yeah, the restaurants, a retail stores, shop, coffee shop shops. Shopkeepers are really good as well. They're like local shopkeepers, most offices, a retailers, um, restaurants. Restaurants are bang on as well. So they can get finance for the business. Yeah, so it could be finance could be for anything. Finance could be for stock. Finance yeah. could be for coffee um, shops. Um, uh, what do you want to call them? Like, like if it's a coffee shop, they might want to buy stuff. Uh, for the coffee shop, um, like coffee machines and stuff like that. So uh, anything but uh, engineering companies are pretty big for machinery as well. So whether it's stock, machinery, even debt, uh, like a law firm wanting to buy in work because that's classed as debt, all that could be added in. Um, but the ones that are kind of quick fixes like shopkeepers, like I mean, I wouldn't have thought shopkeepers because they've got a, t a high turnover of products and they need to buy, carry on buying products. They, they might need a business finance loan for that. It was some of the silliest post offices. We ran post offices that we've got finance for about 100 grand, but it all depends on turnover, what the turnover is. Have they been running for over 12 months? And if they've been running for over 12 months and they've got a decent turnover, they can get some decent money coming in. But generally, these are the people that will be rejected by the main banks. So they'll end up coming to us. What about startup firms? Really difficult to get finance for them. Wow. Really difficult to get finance for them. Um, there's something called startup loans, but to get to the startup loans, they're going to. So uh, obviously, yeah. we'll, ha we'll having the option of annual review as well, uh, revenue as well. So we can select the revenue of like like risk are you talking about the revenue right and the right revenue so we can yeah, go can, with that yeah 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 we can go with that thing as well over here so uh there is a there is a filter over here so we can go with the with the things of like the 
obviously not the great one. The, So I've just I've just put the filters of uh, annual revenue. Uh, the company headcount would be like 11 to 50. Uh, I'm I'm going with the London area and United Kingdom, and the industries are legal, restaurant, retail, uh, most of the retail or the coffee shops and all that. So uh, as we can see over here, we are having a list of uh, companies, specifically like uh, 2,000 results over here, right in London area. So what we're gonna do? Uh, likewise with the with the recruitment thing obviously we can go and jump into the companies like uh, professional jewelers right and obviously if we if we want to fetch the uh, the e emails of uh, of that company we can just simply go with the free one which is uh, job bank uh, email so you can simply go with the job bank email sorry uh, cuz i'm using microsoft right now i I'm having a problem with the Chrome extension, so I can't use uh, the uh, the email extension over here. So you can simply use the email extension and you can grab all the emails that are useful and connect to that uh, person, the, ma uh, the, the decision makers. And also, obviously, you can simply go with the decision makers over here. Simply click on that, Rob Carter. So he's the co-founder of uh, of that what pro uh, the the professional jewelers. So you can simply contact to that person, and you can see over here it's a free profile. So there is no need to uh, like utilizing your credits over here because uh, we are having some credits, so you don't have to use the credits. So obviously, uh, once you'll uh, go with some of the company, you can oh, simply sure. generate. Yeah, sorry, you want to say something? Sorry. No, sorry, Matt. Sorry, carry on. Okay, okay. So, uh, obviously, once you'll uh, you'll get the right can uh, right decision maker or managing director of a uh, of a firm, you can simply generate any kind of uh, like uh, like like the template if you are going to do a business finance, right? So, obviously, you can simply check it out over here and. You can advertise or uh, give a message of advertisement by just generating from any of the AI tool. I'm using Copilot, so I'm gonna create one of the template right over here with the business finance thing, and just simply copy that thing and paste it over here and send it to the Rob Carter and wait for his response over there. Is that okay? Yeah. 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 You want okay. to add Let's something? Sorry, um, even when you build yeah. the list of companies for recruitment, doesn't mean you can't send them a business finance uh, message um, at a different at a different link and just say that look, if you know if you're a law firm, I'm just giving you an example. If it's a law firm, if you're a law firm and you're looking for cash for um, to buy some cases in, why not why not get in touch and we can put you in we, we can get you put you in the right direction of getting your finance. So it's just about utilizing the the tools, the immigration one and the pro bit. It's more about who you know and just seizing opportunities. Whereas the business finance one could be a tool that you use, like you would do as recruitment and getting finance deals over the line. Because if a company wants their finance pretty quickly, they move pretty quickly as well. So as long as they can get the the, the data, like the bank accounts, all the information they can to the finance company. The deal can be done within a month okay um and that means when i mean the deal can be done, that means they've been paid out and we've been paid out within the space of 30 to 45 days i've not had any non-payment of uh business finance with less than 45 days but with startup loans so they do do startup loans but the problem you've got with startup loans is the likeliness of them going through is the percentage is quite low and then on top of that the the length of them is long and the the commission on them is next to nothing a couple of them are quick but in terms of the what you can make on business finance uh is next to nothing but you will get a lot of people who will say i'm going to start a business but then then you'll put it through but then they've got to jump a lot of hoops 
for startup loans to That's for business yeah, plans. Yeah. Yeah. All, all of it, it yeah. it's crazy. So, so is that it, boys? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Yes. Um, if there's Thank anything you like uh, you want to ask for something, uh, so. Yeah, anything you want us to repeat? Uh, sorry, yeah. right. Not right now, guys. Thank you. Uh, boys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, uh, I'm gonna share your numbers, uh, and hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, Usama, can you definitely get in touch with Paul and Darren? Um, I will. In the in, in the next day or so to book something in for Monday um, and kind of go start that journey. Mac, um, I know yeah. you're the expert in developing LinkedIn profiles. Um, so can you develop any LinkedIn profiles that need to be developed or changed? Or Because Darren's got a LinkedIn profile. I just want to ask Mac, can you actually have two LinkedIn profiles under the same name? Uh, with the same name? Yeah, so if I wanted to, if I wanted my name twice on LinkedIn, can I do that? Uh, yeah, you can do that. But uh, the thing is, you can mention the same company or are, are you doing some other thing? So, so, if I, so if I wanted my personal one as one, but if I wanted to do another one for this, can I do that? So one personal you, profile, Mac, and you one can have, profile. Yeah, yeah, you can have as many profiles as many you can. We just have to use a different emails for those. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So okay. email should okay. be different, but names, rest, everything could be same. You can have as me. Let's say my name is uh, my name on there is Sama Abasi. If you search your Sama Abasi, you'll search you'll got you'll find hundreds of people. If I'm gonna search Paul or, or any like a first name, your last name, I'll find tens of people. You can have same name, but the email should be different under every single LinkedIn account. I mean, I yeah. do have to. I, I do have to. LinkedIn accounts and um, one for the mine core, which is my charity and one for me. But I just wondered if there was another one just under my name that I could do that. But if it's a diff just because of change of email address, then that's fine. Yeah, I just change the email and use those. Cool. Um, and yeah, so whatever they need, they, whatever they need uh, moving forward, um, boys at the beck and call, whatever they need, you sort out, whatever you need me, you have me. Um, and obviously you'll always have me. Um, so whatever they need to get set up, get started, repeat, 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 practice, practice, practice. You know the drill boys, don't you? Yeah. Um, and uh, I really appreciate that. Um, these boys are generally available and they're going to be taking it pretty seriously. So they're a bit more like Chirag on within the last few weeks in terms of doing it full time. So they will be on your cases saying that, look, I need some help. I need some guidance. I need this. I need that. Whatever it is, just get it sorted and get it built. Up. And more importantly, make sure whatever the skills need developing and just be patient. Uh, not that you need patience with these fellas. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Nobody like my joke. Um, is that okay? Usama could, you, uh, Usama, could you do me a favor? Could you send me the recording? And uh, please, I'll get it on YouTube so it's easily streamable. And uh, again, thank you very much, boys. Um, you have put a show on. Um, and I think the boys are impressed and they might be looking for a team in Pakistan. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's so, great. So you have done the community of Pakistan well, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. And we've even had a nice catch of Pakistani tea as well. So that's a, gonna, it, I think that was a sweetener. That was the sweetener. <laughs> Uh, so just, boys, just that we, reason, no, he's expert in hiding from Pakistan, so he'll get you the yeah. best. <laughs> yeah. So no, no, I really appreciate that, boys, and I will try and speak to you, uh, Mac and Osama at some point around about four o'clock if we can. What time are you guys free now? Uh, Afterwards. Uh, I, uh, I've got to call at uh, six. Yeah. I've got yeah, to call, at, to call five. at five. Yeah. Okay, then can we do something for four? Just a quick ten minutes. Yes. yes sure. Okay, then no problem. Shazam, I'll catch up with you later on and search for stuff. Yeah, sure. Have a good day. Okay, then. nice one. Nice one, brother. I'll see you later. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Paul. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. Take care. Cheers, bye. Bye, -bye. bye now.